Club in Bahrain, chatting with Hala Suleiman, the head of marketing and communications at Tom Keen, which is an empowerment agency here in Bahrain that offers funding and training to Bahraini-led startups. Hala, how are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. So we just came off a panel in which you got a little bit, you know, both appreciated and grilled by the crowd. Um, because they really wanted to look into the model, and I like that because it shows that the crowd is active and invested and questioning the ecosystem. Um, can you start by describing the model of what Tom Keen is offering? Um, I think I'll start by saying we're a customer-oriented organization, so we have to take in the feedback no matter what, um, and we try to develop our programs based on the feedback that we get from um, audiences similar to tonight's panel. Um, Tim Keen is a semi-government organization. Uh, Tim Keen means empowerment. And what we offer are a number of tools uh, that enable or empower either the Bahraini individual or any business with, a com with an active commercial registration in Bahrain. Um, for the Bahraini nationals, the youth, market entrants, job seekers, we offer them training and skilling based on skills gaps in the market uh, or market needs for uh, specific sectors, uh, specific uh, professions. Um, and for the businesses in Bahrain, we have um, a number of schemes, but basically the model is you have this wide range of uh, programs where you can, you're either a startup, which needs to do a feasibility study, or requires pre-seed capital up to uh, supporting large enterprises. And the programs, the business support programs, vary from uh, funding, financing, co-financing, uh, which are considered grants, um, and uh, up to uh, financing with low interest rates with up to 10 years of possible repayment. So what are the ranges of funding that you offer in say dollar or dinar uh, Starting from 5,000 Bahraini dinars up to half a million. Uh, but of course, there for each program and for each scheme, there is a criteria. Anything above 50,000 uh, Bahraini dinars would require a feasibility study by the bank um, if, if they're uh, trying to take a loan uh, through the finance scheme. Of course. So one of the challenges, one of the crowd questions that we had tonight was um, about product market fit because people were saying, oh, they're lamenting there are too many salons, there are too many abaya shops, there are too many people trying to do the same thing. What are the opportunities that you see? What are the sectors that you encourage companies to go into? Um, I think it's worth saying that we've studied about 11 to 12 sectors by Tim Keen. We've done two studies. One is, one is a skills gap study and the other is a market gap study. In the skills gap study, we looked at what skills are needed in the market. Um, and there's a, there's a huge report which is used by the different stakeholders so that they can utilize it to develop programs. We also have a market gap study which looked at about 11 or 12 sectors to see what market gaps. And when I say market gap, it's for, let's say, for example, um, in the recreation industry uh, or the tourism sector what kind of opportunities are out there for people to start up businesses. So we've scanned the market for uh, information. Could you speak specifically to any of the dominant sectors today that offer the most opportunity? Um, we usually try to work with stakeholders. We offer the information to them. And based on market needs, where we see there is a requirement, we develop our programs. And it's done over phases and through um, different parties. Um, I need to think of an example at the moment, but um, uh, for example, you know, the initially, I'll, I'll give you just an example which we started in 2007. When Tim Keen first started, uh, there was a study done um, about the accounting and finance professionals in Bahrain. And uh, the study revealed that there was a need for um, internationally certified uh, accountancy and finance professionals. Since then, up to this date, we have trained about 700 Bahrainis, and hence we've catered to the needs of the market. So if I'm looking for um, a skilled Bahraini, there are about, they're out there, there's uh, up to 700 Bahrainis 
who are international certified and the market needed them. It was based on a study, based on the finance sector requirements. This is just an example of how we work to develop schemes or programs. Right, but when it comes to entrepreneurs encouraging them to start businesses to create jobs, are there any you know top three sectors that you could think of? I mean, is e-commerce big? Um, what? Um, I would say the tourism sector. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of opportunity in the tourism sector in Bahrain. Uh, there's a lot to be done to support tourism in Bahrain. Um, there is also the IT and telecom sector because it's a virtual it's a virtual world. So the opportunities are vast, and we have lots of skilled people in Bahrain who can set up similar businesses. What we're trying to do through Tim Keen is to get people to uh, change their mindset from searching for the regular job to becoming an entrepreneur. And it, this needs time to change the mindset and to get people willing to take the risk of opening or setting up a business. And what are the pitfalls, just finally, what are the pitfalls that come with you know, giving money to young entrepreneurs? What do you try to avoid and what are you hoping to see ideally? Uh, one thing we do before you benefit from any of our schemes is they go through an orientation session. And the orientation session is sort of to tell them how our programs help them. Um, w initially, people thought, oh great, the government of Bahrain, and I'm, and I'm saying this you know, on air, is throwing away money. It's not. We are a reform agency, and part of the reforms is to support the private sector, to enable the small and medium enterprises to create um, a world of entrepreneurs or a whole new generation of entrepreneurs. These will become not only employed, but they will also become employers, and hence they support the private sector. Um, some people have taken loans without doing um, their own homework. Or lots of people thought, oh, it's easy business, I can get funding, I can become an entrepreneur. As Tim Keen, we offer the tools that take you to the first step and to the next step. Then there's a responsibility of the entrepreneur himself to actually be passionate about what he does and to understand and to work hard towards achieving his goals. Um, there is a misconception. People think, if I have my own business, you know, I don't need to work hard, it's my own business. While actually, as we all heard today in the examples of the people who were talking, it, it does somewhat take over your life because this is your bread and butter. Now, our advice as Tim Keen is for people to uh, jump onto the uh, wagon of trying to uh, enter into the business world, become an entrepreneur, become an employer, and, and hence they will support themselves be economically empowered and as well support the uh, private sector and national economy. Great. Well, I'm sure within a generation we'll also become aware of what that takes. But excellent. Well, we'll look forward to seeing some of the companies that come out of Tom King's support. So, thanks for chatting with us. Thank you.